Hello, I'm making this video regarding Noura Hossein's case. I've got an email from change.org. I've heard about her story and the order which was given to her by the judge. Let's discuss a little about it. The story is her father make a contract for marriage between her and the guy without her wanting, without her permission. She escaped to her aunt's house in another city or village. And she lived with her aunt. The father, after three years, called her that the marriage or the contract of the marriage is canceled. Now you can return. She trusted her father. Uh, but when she returned, they make a ceremony for the marriage and send her with him, I mean, to his house as a bride. Nura doesn't let him have sex with her for four days, but on the, on the fifth days, the guy, he pinned the girl down with the help of his cousin, his brother, rape her with the help of some men. The next day, he want to do it forcibly, but Dura stabbed him, and those stabs lead him to death. This story happened at 2017, but judge gave the order to them for for the execution of the girl, and this is a they consider themselves as a Muslim. Let's talk about a little about Islam. What Islam says? The marriage contract is. So after talking about the mirror, which it is, the amount of the money or property, how much women want, and they're compromising. The girl or woman will tell to the man, I will gonna have sex with you with this amount of money, with the amount of money which it's obvious. This is what woman says. Man will say, accept it. This is whole the story. I, I hear a story is that the father make a contract, a marriage contract for her daughter to a man without her wanting that without her agreeing with that or it doesn't make sense because it is a woman lady that telling to the man I will marry you I this is a woman who has have right for her body and choosing the guy and okay I will marry with him this is her telling that so if father want to do that this is this has not happened so it means the contract of the marriage is not correct at all it's it's completely wrong so but the judge here he says that the woman is guilty but the woman here is not guilty i'm sorry that that person get killed but these are the statements according to the law islamic law this is woman's body and woman must tell these words you cannot put the gun and i mean or do something for a sibling. A woman should like to have sex or she should think, okay, I'm ready for a marriage. This is a contract. Both of them should understand, both of them should be grown up enough to know what they're telling and what's the meaning of all these things and what's the law behind that. But that Nura's case. First, the guy, the husband, he knew that Nura doesn't want to marry him. Actually, he knew because she took action. She escaped from her house. But let's say, even let's say, after three, he was thinking, okay, she's grown up enough and now she wanted to have sex, you know. Then let's let's put it that way. Because a person get killed, we can, it's, and it's not simple. Even after three years, he couldn't get the idea. After those four days in the same house and wanted to have sex, then he completely understood that she doesn't want to, she didn't mean that I want to have sex with you. How could it be? I say, I want to have sex, but when it comes to the situation, say, so oh, I don't want to have sex. After three years, first, then four days, he figured out that, that that girl doesn't mean I wanted to have sex with you. So even if he paid, I don't know, a big money to her, he, the first step, she need, he needed to go to the judge and said, hey, give me back my money or property or whatever. And she doesn't mean that she want to have sex with me. Although he knew, but he, he, igno he was ignorant. This is his first fault. So basically, this, this hasn't happened. So this is a contract. When it is, it's not happened, he doesn't have right to have sex with her. And sex is with loving. This is not happened. 
and he forcibly have sex with her, actually raped her. His second fault is he is raping her by the help of the men of the, I don't know, the tribe or the family or whatever. Even animal doesn't do that. I mean, here many Islamic law is broken by him, were broken by him. Marriage contract was not correct. Ever, never a marriage contract ha had happened at the first step because she never ever meant I want to have sex with you and he knew, he knew that but there is another issue here there were people who gave company to him cousins brother-in-law and it seems it was another person as well another relative I don't know All this, they gave company to that man to raping her. So all these guys are guilty. And the judge has never, never said anything about this. And I surprised. So these guys are guilty in this crime, to the crime of their rape. They haven't raped her, but they are guilty and they give a hand, they help him to rape her and they should be punished. The third thing is, I'm sorry, although he, this guy is dead, but he has a punishment. He must pay to the girl, I'm sorry, although this guy is dead, but he must pay we call it Diya We call it the. I believe we write like this. I don't know. Uh, he harmed her body and raped her. She was virgin. Even if she was not virgin, uh, he needed to pay her. So the, they should look at how much he has property or their parent then they need to take it out, take, take from them and give to the girl. This is the punishment and the girl, Nura, should be paid first for keeping her for one year to the prison. This should happen with, by, with, by government. They didn't have right to do that. Also, she should be paid by groom family. For this compensation. Yeah. If you're looking for Islam, this is Islam. This is, this is my message to the, I don't know, perhaps the, um, the lawyer, he knows that, but for all the people who are watching about Nura and they are curious, this is what Islam says. So Nura should be paid from the government side because they kept him for one year, like a, um, in the prison. Uh, and also from the groom family, they need to pay her because the, he raped her. The marriage was not correct at the first step because she never ever meant I want to have sex with you. So, and all these guys, cousin, brother-in-law, they are the partner in the crime for the rape. They are the partner in the crime for the rape. And I'm afraid to tell what the punishment is.